Here's a little PSA about using plastic shelves to put your whiskey on. I know what you're thinking. You'd probably think I would be smarter than that. And uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, I should know better. Obviously, you've seen the Bourbon Library. You've seen how over-engineered I made that with the two-inch thick, uh, the one-inch pipe instead of the half-inch. Like, that I engineered to make sure there was not even a possibility of a failure. What happened here? Well, this was supposed to be a temporary shelf, and it was a temporary shelf. Um, I moved all of the rye out of the bourbon library because I'm building new shelves in there and some of those new shelves are going to hold all the rye. So I was at Lowe's and I saw one of those, uh, you know, black and yellow plastic shelves and it was on sale. Maybe I know why now. Like they're normally over a hundred bucks, hundred, hundred ten dollars. I got it for like 50 bucks. So I came home, set it up, and started putting all the rye in alphabetical order because I knew I'd eventually be moving it into the bourbon library. I guess I was thinking more about organization and alphabetizing them than I was, hey, is there maybe too many bottles on this shelf? They weren't supposed to be on there that long. I got sick, got this cold, kind of knocked me out of doing any work on the shelves for about a two week period. And that was just long enough They'd been there for maybe about a month. And I was editing, heard a crash. <laughs> Alas, what sound did thy just hear? Thy fears it was a wall of rye whiskey that has come crashing down, breaking apart, and thusly breaking thy own heart. It didn't take me long to figure out, to know. Mm. I know what that sound was. Like shattered glass on tavern floors, whispers of spirits roar. Your amber tears so deep in wood, I knew we'd lose that day. Your there were some casualties. Not all of them. Lucky in a lot of places, with a lot of more special bottles, but um, there were definitely some casualties. Here are the two legs in question that both failed. They were on the both on the front side. And uh, they caused that, yeah. You know, in the almost eight years of this channel and around 12 years of being really into bourbon, I've never dropped and broken a bottle. So I guess I uh, decided to go a little overboard for my first one. Yeah, there was, I'm going to estimate around 125, 150 bottles on that shelf, and I don't know how many broke just yet, um, maybe around 50 or so, I'm estimating. The shelf gave way and came crashing down, and I was startled by that awful sound. The glass shattered and broke my heart. It cut me deep, how can I part? You smelled so good for two weeks straight But you were a reminder of a broken fate A crumbled bottle of stained dreams How could you shatter it so wrong it seems? You know, it is a tragedy, but it's also first world problems, right? You know, it's uh, not a tornado or an earthquake or anything. The house is fine. It's just some bottles, but um, it does smell really good down here because of that. I guess I am, you know, thankful that some of the more precious ryes didn't get damaged. Um, not every single rye was here. Some are, you know, are over in the stair step bar or on, you know, another display or something. But the Booker's rye was here, and thankfully it was in its box as it should be, and it survived. So thankful for that. Did lose uh, a lot of Sagamores. I don't know if it's just where it was on the shelf or if it's that bottle shape or whatever. 
um, Midwinter's Night Dram, uh, Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye. We don't have super good access to those here, so that kind of hurt, but you know, it's whiskey. There'll be more whiskey to buy. There'll be more whiskey to head. God knows that we have a lot more whiskey, so eh, it's just, it's sad in a cautionary tale. So I wanted to share this with you, but let us know your horror stories down in the comments or what you've done to make sure that this doesn't happen to you. Well, Sarah, it's been about two or three weeks since the collapse. Mm -hmm. uh, Who could have predicted that that would happen? Oh, stop it. It's been a time of healing. Um, we want to take a little break here uh, amidst all this. Hope you've been enjoying those uh, tunes that we had commissioned for this episode. I feel like they were very nice. Uh, to, to tell you about our home on the internet, it's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get this pocket tee with the logo here in the back, uh, the hat that I'm wearing. Normally, it's uh, happier stuff when we have glasses and we're drinking. Right. Uh, but yeah, not not for this one. Uh, but all of our glassware, our copitas, um, our Glencairns, our mini Glencairns, water glasses, of course, T-shirts, hoodies, still cold in some places, need them, hoodies. We got Bottle candles. Cut candles, yeah. Cocktail Elemental syrup. Lock, elixir cocktail syrup and more. That's always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. Join our community for as little as one buck a month and you can join in whatever tier you like. Mm -hmm. um, based on the tier that you choose, you're gonna get access to after the episode exclusives, barrel picks, mm -hmm. events, and a lot more. Yeah, in fact, these fine names that you see scrolling here mm -hmm. are many of our, of our mm -hmm. little Patreon army. That's right, and yes. also depending on their tier, they get discounts on the merch you were talking about. That's so. correct, yes, yes, there we go. Oh, thanks to them. Thank you to them, for sure. All right, we're gonna take a little break and we'll be right back after this. I've often wondered about uh, glass shelves. You know, I see people with their bourbon collection on these glass shelves and I always think I would never do that. You know, glass can break and there's a lot of bottles on there, but um, apparently I thought, you know, plastic, ah, oh, that's fine. You know, you can connect those shelves to the wall. They recommend that. Um, again, this was supposed to be very temporary. If I had attached it to the wall, I mean, I do still think they would have bowed and rolled off or, you know, just kind of gravity gone off the shelves, but that maybe would have helped a little bit. But, um, I also always thought if one of these shelves was to fail, it would be, you know, the bowing of the plastic shelves cracking, but it was those plastic, um, whatever you want to call them, pillars, plastic posts that uh that held it up is is what failed um so you know be this a warning to all you out there however you have your bourbon stored make sure that it is substantial enough and i would caution you from using these plastic shelves I and mean, i did have it loaded up a lot but still caution and you know the thing is before i built the bourbon library i had bottles on various types of plastic shelves and I guess maybe that gave me a little bit of a inflated uh, confidence you know as I said I bought this one new it wasn't one of those older shelves maybe they don't make things like they used to huh that would not shock me at all but um, yeah before the bourbon library I had my bourbon collection on these temporary plastic shelves um, several of them until I got those built and then and then moved them. I don't know if I can, maybe I can find some pictures of what it used to look like, but, so I guess I just thought, I've used them before, this is temporary, it'll be fine. Guess what, it was, it wasn't fine. And they fell with sounds of crashing And I can hear them sound The very clings that they were made of Well, I've been doing this for about an hour and I, I think I've got most of the uh, glass pieces picked up, but now I've got to work on getting all the whiskey out of the carpet. So uh, back to the wet dry vac. But you know what they say, misery loves company. So if anything like this has happened to you before, let us know down in the comments. And before you go to bed tonight, go tuck in your bottles, tell them you love them, tell them it'll be okay. All right, back at it. The shelf gave way, came crashing down I was startled by that awful sound The glass shattered and broke my heart It cut me deep, how can I part with Rye whiskey, don't leave me Rye whiskey, you left me 
empty. You smelled so good for two weeks straight, but you were in my room of broken faith.